Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, I've got another one page wonder, so I'm excited um, to share that with you. And this is gonna be something similar that I have a video on, but I made it months ago, earlier this year, before I started this one page wonder series. And I thought now's a good time to kind of redo it because I have a, a strategy that's even easier to make this one. So um, what we're gonna make are um, a zine style mini journal, okay? So um, a lot of people are like, what's a zine? And I just did a workshop um, that was in person and we had such a good time and we made these. And it's one piece of paper and we're using, or I am using eight and a half by 11, just regular copy paper that then is layered with um, some beautiful pattern papers, right? Um, but really, you can make it with a rectangle. A rectangle will work and you can fold it the same way. Um, and it's not hard, but it's just a specific way of folding the paper. And then you get this lovely little, little journal. And then depending, of course, the endless ways of decorating them, yours will look um, unique. So this is made... Um, with my butterfly ephemera kit. I think that's the name of it on Etsy. And this is my feeling like fall papers using some of the freebies. Um, we're gonna make one today and I've just got bits and pieces from the Pink Monarch Prince um, September kit that I already had just kind of sitting here in some scraps um, and little tags and things that I'd already cut out. So I thought, well, we'll make one using that because that'll be super pretty too. I will link... Um, the paper kits and things for you in the description um, if you're interested. But to start, you just need a piece of um, copy paper. And I really think it does work best if you don't use cardstock. If you have a really lightweight cardstock, that might work. But it just seems to fold together easier and is neater. And then as you layer it, you end up with a really nice thickness um, to each little page. So that's up to you. Um, you could also print something on both sides, right? And then fold it up or even on one side and fold it up and then just kind of decorate from there. That would be super fun too. Um, or a lightweight scrapbook paper um, would be fun too. And you only need it to be one-sided. Now for the video purpose and to help make it easier, I have put some um, numbers on here so that as we're folding it up, it's a little easier for you to see where I am, but you, you can just use white, white paper or plain paper. Don't worry about the numbers, okay? Um, we will end up with um, a front cover and a back cover and then six pages, so it's super fun. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is fold the paper hot dog style, which is what my mom, who was the first grade teacher, would say. So just long ways that way, okay? So on the eight and a half inch side, you folded it in half. And then open it up, and then we'll fold it up hamburger style, just in half again, okay? Ah, and be as neat as you can. Your end product will appreciate that. All right, now that you have it folded hamburger style, I'm gonna fold each um, edge up to that center fold line. Okay, so that's our original fold. Fold that side up and then fold this side up, okay? All right. Now, I think it does help to take just a minute and fold everything the other direction. You know, just get the paper happy being folded together um, every, every direction possible um, and get your creases, okay? Now, when you're back, after you've done that and you're happy and you got it hamburger style, you wanna turn it and hold it by the side that's creased, not these open flappy sides, okay? So hold it at the bottom on the crease. And let me ink this for you. So hopefully you can see where we're gonna cut. We are gonna cut just from the bottom where the fold is up to this score line, just one easy cut right in the middle. Straight as you can. Okay, that's the only cut. Then you're going to have something, and the easiest way I think to do this is hold it like I'm holding it, your finger and thumb 
on either side of this cut line and just let it turn like this. And it almost just folds up itself, okay? Now, before you really start pressing everything down, I would just kind of make sure it's coming together neatly. <laughs> oh, I don't know where my bone folder is. There you go. Now, mine, like I said, I printed it, so it says cover. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and the back cover. And I'm going to cover these up with paper, so it's fine that it's there. But if you're just using a piece of plain paper or a pattern paper, you you know you won't have those numbers, and 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 it really it's okay, because like I said, you're gonna take it, and I don't know, it, it just if you've creased it back and forth like I did, it almost just folds up itself. And if you happen to do this, like let's say you fold it a little bit differently, that's okay too. It really still works. All right, so you have your your pages. Um, I hope that that was clear. We could do one more um, just to make sure. I said in the class yesterday that my um, ladies that were able to join me, I said we're adult learners and sometimes it's good to do things twice. If you want to fast forward through this part, go right ahead, but I'm just going to do fold one more really fast. So hot dog style. I'm going to try to do it too where you can see you really don't need these numbers hamburger style and then once you've done hamburger style fold each side back to that fold line just like that as neat as you can and then you know kind of opposite fold everything so it gets happy being folded together And then we're going to make one cut. And the important thing to remember is you're going to cut it when it's folded hamburger style. So you're going to hold it by the crease. And let me ink that for you. And then you're going to cut just right from the bottom up to the middle score line. And you're done. So you can really mass make these and have some cute, fun little projects. Now, I haven't really looked up the true definition of a zine. I believe it comes from the word magazine. And I think when these were first made by artists, they were like a collaborative thing. And there were little magazines or brochures, you know, for events and things. Um, in the kind of junk journaling art world, a lot of people will fold zines and then decorate them up and... There you have it. Um, but this is my take on a zine style um, journal. And you can decorate it flat like this um, and just do each side, right? Or you can leave it folded up and then decorate each page as you go. Both strategies work if you kind of want to see what, what each little layout's going to look like. I think it's a little easier to decorate from this orientation, but that is up to you. And we're going to decorate really quick. So again, I just had some pieces from this kit and it's super pretty. And I've already, some of them are close to, or I cut close to the size of each of these little pages. And if you started out with paper that was eight and a half by 11, then a piece that'll you know, with a little bit of a border around it fit in there is um, four and two eighths, or you can call that 10 and a half centimeters by two and, um, let's see, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, no, one, two, three, four, two and five eighths, or call that six and a half centimeters. Okay, so, you know, or just tear your paper or cut your paper just so that it fits right in there. And depending on the size that your rectangle started with, that'll depend on the size paper that you need. Okay, these are some of the little, um, little file folders that were in the kit. And like I said, I just had some, some of those and I had some other papers just kind of chopped up here. Um... Let's cover it with this one. And so now I'm just doing the fun part of decorating. I am gonna show you if you want to, 
like any kind of little mini journal or something that you're making, you can um, add pockets um, and add little tags and other items to it. And we'll see what else I have in my little doodad box to decorate this with. All right. So um, I am using, I like to tell you guys the supplies I'm using because I usually get asked. Um, I'm using Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. Um, and then the glue I'm using is the Lineco brand PVA glue in these little bottles. And my supplies, if you're interested and need some supplies, I tell you guys this every video. I hope you're not getting tired of me. Um, are listed in my Amazon storefront. This is what the glue looks like um, before I pour it into these little bottles. So Lineco brand PVA. And it comes in all different sizes. Um, I think I'm going to use this one for the back cover. So... I am an Amazon associate. I do receive a tiny few pennies commission. If you end up making a purchase, it doesn't cost you any more money. It's just a way, um, I guess, Amazon tries to help creators or whoever um, if someone makes a purchase from one of our links. So um, if you wanna just go check out what I use, that's helpful and great too. Click away. <laughs> but don't feel any pressure. It's just in case you have interest. And I try to have all of this, not all the supplies because I don't get everything, of course, on Amazon. But the things that I do buy on Amazon to craft with, I've plopped in there on the storefront for you to take a look. All right. This is going to be so cute. Um, some of these were... Um, from some of the pages, just like the papers that are in the kit. And then some of these are um, where I cut the little file folders, just cut the tabs off because I liked the design of the paper. And we're gonna use those. And once I have all these glued down, um, we'll add some other embellishments. If you want to, as you go, um, there's a couple of different ways, like if you want to add ribbons and things like I did, like for this, some of these, I cut or punched the hole in, in the layer um, before, and then I glued it down, and I don't know if it was this one or another one I did, I just punched, yeah, right through the, the paper. Let me open that up so you can see it. I just punched right on through one layer. Um, Again, there's really no right or wrong way to decorate these. This one, I punched this little card before I glued it down. Put a little tab on there. Um, you know, just however you want to decorate it, just like we always do. Um, these are, you know, when you want a project and you want something, I think, that kind of has a nice pop, right? Um, but you don't have a lot of time. But maybe you've got some papers that you're just really enjoying and you want to play with. Um, do this. Pull some out. I think I'm going to piece something together here. And I may have to tear a few more of these file folders up because I just grabbed scraps and I didn't grab enough. That was one, two, three, four, five. Oh, because I have the covers too. So I need two more. But how about this? I think this will be cute if I um, layer those two together. I think that'll be super cute. So, um, and hopefully y'all can't tell, and my voice might sound a little tired, our air conditioning is out. And it is September in Virginia, um, so it's still warm. It's getting into the high 80s here. Our air conditioning on the first floor of our office is working, or office, of our house is working. So it it's not as terrible as it sounds, it's just my craft studio, which is where I wanna be is upstairs where the afternoon sun hits it and it's hot. Um, so I'm a little warm and after I do this video, I'm gonna have to go back downstairs. I should have, or I would have made a video and spent time in here earlier in the day, but I had a dentist appointment, you know. So there's always something going on that um, kind of stops you, but the good news is 
they're supposed to be coming to fix it this afternoon around, well, it's about 1.30 now. They're supposed to be here no later than 3, hopefully. So we are eagerly awaiting. And, of course, my fabulous husband, who is so sweet and does not like me to be grumpy, um, went to the storage unit and got the little window AC unit that we have from various reasons. He has a property um, with tenants and their AC went out on that house and he had gotten some window units while we were waiting for that to get fixed for them. So he kept them, which I think was smart because now if we need them or they need them, we have them. Anyway, so I was able to sleep last night. I had air conditioning in my bedroom. Um, but goodness gracious, it is never fun. And this is the second time this just this year we have had trouble with this particular unit. Um, so hopefully it is nothing too significant. We shall see, right? There's always something. All right. So I hope you see, I'm going around and just adding some ink because that's what I like. But even with just one layer, uh, the little... Um, Zine, the little journal, that cute, it looks like a star, um, has a nice weight and thickness to it now, and um, it is coming together really nicely. So I had intended for this to be the cover, the pink. So let me see if I have anything that I want to um, stick on here. I'm hoping somewhere in here I have like a little image of something that's cute. Don't think I want a fork and knife on there. I don't even know where that came from. I have so much random stuff. Okay, this is from a different kit, but I think I'll just tear. So we'll have some torn edges. This little ballerina from Paris out. And now this is not the September kit. This is just some things I happen to have sitting here in my doodad box on my desk. Do you guys have a doodad box? <laughs> I have lots of them. Um, they're similar to my scrap box or my scrap pile, but they're usually little journal cards, little tags, little pieces that I actually took the time at one point to um, cut out or cut out the majority of, but they're not necessarily just like scraps or sheets of paper or something or partial pieces of paper. Um, so, yeah. That's what that is, my dude. That's what I call my dude dad box. Now, these little pieces are from that September kit, and um, and there's some cute tags too. And there were these numbers, and I was thinking it might be fun to actually put one one through whatever on here. That might be fun. Let's see how that looks if the colors go. Okay, yeah, just for funsies. And I think I'm gonna put a piece of um. A ribbon or something um, on here and if you're um, I don't know if you would watch this if you came to my workshop because we just did this project but if you did come to my workshop and you are watching hey leave me a comment give a shout out tell everybody what you thought of it um, I know not everybody of course can travel to Virginia um, for a workshop, but we sure did have fun. And if you're in the area or you ever can come when we're getting together, I hope that's something you'll think about. It was such a good day. Um, all right, I just stapled a little piece of, it's kind of like a chiffon ribbon from my scrap ribbon bag. And that might have done better if I had used like, um, Fabrifix glue or even like a glue dot or some two-sided tape. We'll see if that stays on there. Okay, now these, some things that might be fun is to make a few little pockets. So I'm going to tear a little piece. I didn't check to see this may be too wide. Yeah, we'll have to tear it off a little bit on the side too. Or you can cut it if you don't like to tear. We're going to make a really simple pocket this way that we can stick a tag in. So I'll just put glue on three sides. And then um, I think one of these, look, 
one of these cute little tags is gonna look so darling in there. Let's see what other, I need to, I need to pull out some more ribbons and so that, and start using them so then I have scraps of different types. Um, Cause I'm feeling kind of like I use those all the time. It may also be that I'm starting to sweat because it's getting quite warm in the studio. I know, I use this sorry silk ribbon all the time. I can't help it, it's a favorite. And we're gonna just speed this up a little bit. Add a little tag. There we go. Now this one I'm not gonna put a pocket or anything on because I kinda like that to um, maybe journal on or write on. And then here, let's grab another piece of paper. It may not be enough contrast. Let me see what I've got. Okay, we'll use this one again. We'll use the blue, but what I'm gonna do with this one is I kind of have it in a rectangle shape. You can do it a rectangle or a square, and then I'm just gonna cut it right at an angle so that we can have two angled pockets. And this one fits fine tall ways. When I turn this one sideways, it's a little long, so I could chop it off, or we could do this. Cute, right? So we'll do that. We'll have one that kind of tucks up into the pocket and then this one um, is a pocket obviously that you put something in that way so when you're crafting with scraps sometimes I just love how it turns out because you know I don't really have necessarily a master plan and I like how it it often just looks a little bit more scrappy kind of fun kind of using up the extra bits and pieces and I know I started I did a video um, with making a journal out of the packing paper and then a bunch of pieces of ephemera and um, I I got a lot of requests yes please come back and finish the journal with us I have not done that yet that journal is still um, still there and needs to be finished so that hopefully will be coming soon as well if you were interested in that one let me go back because I said I was going to put the numbers on um so if you're interested in that one, that'll be coming soon. And that was this September kit. It had all those beautiful birds and everything. So um, that's exciting and something to look forward to. Um, all right, that'll take up a little bit of our journaling space, but that's okay, because I kind of really like having the numbers. A lot of times I just stick a number um, and it really has no significant meaning, but this is kind of fun doing the numbers um, in order. So the cover was one, two, three, and then we'll do the four and five. I hope I have them all. I didn't even think about that. We'll see what happens. All right. Ah, there's five. I'm living on the edge here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, all right, and I need something to tuck in this pocket. So for right now, just kind of as placeholders, I'm just gonna put those tags. Now this one again, I'm not sure I want to, um, I'm not sure I want to put anything on here. I think I kind of like it, but what I may do is um, punch a, a little slot. You could do a circle if you don't have this punch, that's fine. A circle would work. And we'll put a little piece of ribbon at the top of this page just to make it look pretty. And it's sometimes you just kind of have to guesstimate on the length um, and then the style. Of, of how you're gonna loop it onto your tag or your journal page because the way I'm doing it, it actually uses less ribbon because I'm just doing one little tie here. So it's kind of like that. But if I looped it through, it would have take, you know, I would have needed more ribbon. I'm even gonna trim that off just a touch. Okay. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five. All right, this is six. 
Oh gosh. This is the six, six, seven, eight. Whew. I think this might have actually been nine here. I'm not sure, but we're gonna use it as a six because it sort of looks like a six and I actually had enough numbers. Um, it's funny when you don't plan and you decide, oh, we'll do that. And then I start to sweat it a little. Both sweating for real and figuratively. <laughs> All right, on this page, we've done some angled pockets and a tuck spot. We did just a regular pocket at the bottom. How about for this one, we use our fun little ruler here and we'll tear and make a belly band. Just a strip that will give us a tuck spot. Let's see if I made that. Yeah, I, I tore it a little short, so it'll just have to be something tiny that goes in here. We'll find something. And maybe the seven we'll put on there to decorate. So for again, belly bands, just a little bit of glue, the bottom and the top, so that we get a nice little um, pass through tuck spot. Yeah, and I made that one a little short. I'm gonna put the seven up there. Ta-da, just to decorate. And then what do I have? I don't know, I think this is definitely gonna be too tall and it's too wide that way. Let's see if I have just a little card. There we go. We'll just stick that sucker in there. All right, do I wanna decorate the back or do I wanna leave it? Oh, I definitely wanna put the number on there. Now, one thing I didn't do is I didn't use any of these sweet little labels and I could go back and toss a couple of them on here. And you can decorate as much or as little as you want. If you really wanna make this a, um, a writing type of mini journal, you can put neutral papers in there and enjoy, um, you could write quotes, scripture, poems, a letter to somebody, or leave it for them to add some, um, you know, some of their thoughts to. So these are small enough, well, they're good for a happy meal, but they're also small enough, you know, that they really can be tucked inside a larger a journal and a pocket and a journal are clipped in. I mean, it's 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 a little chunky, but it it could you could still do that. All right, I because I like a lot of distress ink, will probably go through and distress ink this a little bit more later. But let's let's show you what we made real quick. Goodness, everything's falling apart. All right, those were the ones that I had ahead of time made. And this is the one we made today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I always like to see what it looks like open. I don't know, do you guys like that view? That's kind of fun, isn't it? All right, so, and then it just folds up super easy. Um, let me know what you think, leave me a comment. Please subscribe if you haven't already, so you'll be notified when I have new content. And, um, I appreciate everybody's support. Let me know if you're going to make one of these and if you like this um, way of making zines. Have a great day, everybody.